make sure you have the button displaying and if you don't, check on one of the different tabs. Click on the drop down option and send the employee invite. Are you sure you want to invite this employee to use the portal? Yes. Now this is really, really exciting. So you definitely want to do it. I invited Mr. Gray to access his own payroll area in Xero. So I sent that notification via Xero and this is the email that uh, he received and uh, I'm going to go through and show you now what it looks like. But what he would do is uh, simply click accept invite and create a uh, Xero login the own personal zero login that accesses just the area he needs to see, which is his employee information. So this is the employee portal area just for Mr. Gray Elephant. Okay, so this is what he would see. So I highly encourage you to uh, embrace the concept of the Xero employee portal and share it with your own employees. They can't get into other reports. They can't get into looking at your profit and loss. They can't affect your bank account, anything like that. They just see this area. So at the top, we have uh, all of the instructions and the videos on how to use this area, but we want the real estate, so we're gonna shut that down. Okay, so this is what they see. They come over here and they see uh, salary, uh, earnings year to date and uh, annual leave uh, is set there and when their next payment uh, is due. They can see any leave awaiting um, approval, uh, pending leave application so they can apply for leave, timesheets awaiting your approval, um, current timesheets so they have the option to add a timesheet and the pay slip history is sitting there. So let's click on um, your details. Because remember this is for this person themselves and this is for Mr. Grey Elephant and he can see um, his own personal details there. And you know what, it's always good, I kind of think that this is smart because um, they can see their own details there, they can't actually change them, but at least they're in a position to say, okay, you have my details incorrect, we need to update them. Uh, they can come in and they can access payslips here. So they can see the payslips. So no longer are they uh, requesting payslips from you. They're not, not, not spending sort of 15 minutes holding up the administrative clerk in the office requesting payslips. No, they can access it themselves. When it comes to leave, they can see um, what leave they have taken how much leave they have available to them and they can apply for leave so let's just go through uh, and we'll just um, apply for some leave what we're going to do is we're, we're going to um, let's pop down here and we'll say that we're going to be sick um, doctor's visit and this is going to happen in April um, we'll say April the 20th April the 20th and who can authorize it that's that's me I can authorize that oh oh I didn't mean to add two there sorry and I can then save and send that for approval Okay, so that has been sent off for approval. Um, so the status now is that a time off has been requested uh, and it's gone to the authorizer, which was set up as me to approve it. And we can also uh, click in on timesheets. And this person has the ability to log their own timesheets. So let's go in and add a timesheet for the next pay period which is the week ending the 21st of April. And this is just the same as we set up for the previous uh, timesheet we did for this person. Ordinary hours, tracking category, and we'll just put in. And let's give them, let's just hit all of them.
and ordinary hours another job this is the yellow job and we'll do oh I don't want to do work there and wrecking oh, doesn't click out of that but we recognize that that has happened there and scroll down and I am going to uh, click submit on that timesheet select approver I'm actually going to grab both of those people and uh, that would just be me that's just because it's a training environment and it's a little bit odd so just completely disregard that there should be just one person there for you to select as an approver and I'm going to submit that and then I would next time I process the payroll be in a position to approve that um, so again no more scatty timesheets no more faxing timesheets no more copying and scanning timesheets the staff member can just log in, register that um, and send it off to you and they're probably more likely to know what uh, projects they were working on and so we are able to accurately allocate the uh, tracking categories there. So I'm going to um, close that and what I also want to highlight, one more thing I want to highlight over here on payslips you might not have noticed it said um, you've not been issued with any payment summaries yet but if you were issued with some payment summaries they would be sitting there um, and this pay slip I believe you can click in on that and actually go through drill down and see the details so checking whether everything's okay so that's the employee portal area um, I find it really simple and easy to navigate and I found that uh, once you deploy that on a uh, it can kind of save about 15 minutes per staff member uh, per week um, which you kind of don't notice all those times that they just come and ask you that odd question that just takes you a second to answer but it's very disruptive to be uh, uh, have to go away and find that information so significant time savings simply from using employee portal okay